at the end of the 2011 NBA draft, the Clippers had 37 and 47. You guys selected Trey Tompkins and Travis Leslie. Made all your Georgia and SEC <laughs> scouting trips worthwhile, right? We did. I'm glad I went to the SEC tournament. Um, yeah, no, we're excited. I mean, those are two guys we've tracked for three years. We had them much higher on our board than where we were able to get them. And you know, anytime you can get value, you know, in the second round and have a guy you can make your team and maybe impact your win total, you have to be excited. Now, earlier this week, you mentioned that this may be more of a trade year or making a move year than a draft year, but you were busy working the phones tonight, but no deals came to fruition. What happened there? You know, look, we, we, we have a very specific goal. You know, we're not looking to make deals just to make deals. Um, we didn't want to invade um, or hurt the integrity of our cap room. You know, for next year, we've got $12 million in cap room. So unless it was something special that put us over the top, you know, we were just going to kind of go through the draft, acquire two guys we thought could really make our team and, you know, impact our roster, and then keep our powder dry for when, you know, guys get more active trade-wise. Now, walking away from this draft and waking up tomorrow morning, how do you assess this Clippers team? You know, I, look, it's David Stern's favorite line, but I think we're one piece away. Um, you know, we finished the season really strong, you know, 500 after the trade. You know, Chris Kamen's going to be healthy. Eric Gordon is not going to be playing with one hand. You know, I think we're a factor as it is in a playoff race. But, you know, and adding two young kids tonight are going to help with our depth. But at the end of the day, you know, we need to make a move. And whether it's free agency with $12 million in room and going to buy a player that gets us over the top or use that room and a player, you know, to acquire you know, a star level piece to go along with Eric and Blake. You know, we'll pursue every angle, but we have to be patient because making the wrong move sets us back. And, you know, you get impatient, you do deals just to do deals, and if there's incremental growth, we can do that just by a development phase. I mean, everybody here is getting better. We're going to get better, but I don't know if we're going to get better enough without another deal. Okay. Well, thank you so much for taking the time. And at the end of the 2011 NBA draft, I'm here with Neil O'Shea and I'm Madeline Burke for LAC TV. For more on the Clippers, check out clippers.com and for ticket information, call 866-4Clippers.